video, I am going to be teaching you the multiplication rule for exponents. So um, if you just want to review what an exponent does to a number, an exponent of 4 here tells 7 to multiply by itself 4 times. So we're going to apply that idea to these two multiplication problems and so you can see how the rule works. So 3, three to the 4th power is 3 multiplied by itself 4 times times 3 squared, which is 3 multiplied by itself 2 times. Well, if we rewrite all of these numbers in exponential form, that's 3 to the 6th power. So you can see that our multiplication rule is when you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponent. So that's 3 to the 4 plus 2, which gives you 3 to the 6th. And again, you can see how that works when you write it out in expanded form. Let's apply the same idea to 3x to the 6 times 2x cubed. The 3 and the 2 are coefficients. So 3 times x to the 6th is 3 times x multiplied by itself 6 times times 2 times x multiplied by itself 3 times. So the 3 and the 2 are not like bases, so we're just going to multiply those like a regular coefficients. And then x, we're going to take the 6x's here plus the 3x's here, and that we're going to add those together to get x to the 9th. Or we could just do 6 plus 3 gives us 9. All right, so our rules, our general rules for multiplying like bases is to, if we have any coefficients, multiply those, keep the base, add the exponents. Let's apply that to these last examples. 6 to the 5th times 6 to the 4th is going to be 6 to the 5 plus 4, which is 6 to the 9th. x to the negative 2 times x to the 8th is x to the negative 2 plus 8, which is x to the 6th. Keep your signs on those exponents, guys. All right, now we've got coefficients, 2x to the 9th times 5x to the negative 4. 2 and 5 are coefficients. Go ahead and multiply those. Keep the base and add 9 plus negative 4, which is 10x to the 5th. Last one, we have two different bases, two different variables. Um, we're going to multiply the 7 and the negative 3 because those are coefficients. That gives us negative 21. And then our x's, we're going to add the exponents. The 2 and the 6 are going to get added together. That is going to give us x to the 8. Then our y's are like bases, so we would add the exponents on the y's together. 4 plus negative 2 is y squared.